Look at that. We're like both closer than we usually are. Today. Nice. That's what people like. I would do that, but then people could count all the disgustingness on my face. And I don't want to see it. Oh, look at freaking cat hair all over this. Lucy sings into this. That's cute. I sing into mine, my, too. I shaved my ass over this thing, too. So, Oh, yeah. That explains why it was so like light colored and <laughs> I bleed. But I bleach. So. Yeah. Okay. Smart. Same. I'll leave it. It's it's nicer when it's like nice and tight. It's like a football helmet. <laughs> Chin strap. There you go. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. Oh, I can't grab it. You can't grab his feet. Well, so she's that. Welcome to the Glazier Gamble Podcast. Yeah, that's us. Welcome. That is me. This is him. And uh, we're here to talk to you about stuff. Today, we have some fantastic four news, not fan four stick, hopefully slightly worse than fan four stick. Uh, we got some casting news that has not been confirmed, but kind of been confirmed because they were like offered. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Everyone's been offered roles and um, been cast. And it's just for us to wait until we get an announcement from the man himself, Kevin Feige. Um, the however, man himself. However... Uh, let's 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 start quick with some Deadpool news because it kind of is Fantastic Four related. Sure. Um, so Peter is back. I don't remember the actor, but Peter. Peter is Deadpool, back. Deadpool two. Yeah, is Peter back. Is He's going to be, oh, which is which is a great idea because Wade Wilson Deadpool went back in time using the bracelet and saved Peter. Didn't have him get involved, lose an arm, whatever. So Peter's back. That's good. Continuity is always good. Um, yes. And then there's also a rumor that Chris Evans, Jessica Alba, and Jon Gruffold yeah. are going to be back in that in I, Deadpool three as well. Um, I saw, I saw possibly, that. I saw possibly. that Jessica Alba recently dyed her hair light blonde. Been, yeah, when she yeah. has been a like dark brunette, brunette for the past for however while. many years, right? And that she is in that area with them at the same time. She was just at a um, at the Lakers game, I think. So she's getting right. back out into the uh, the public eye a little bit, right? Um, yeah. So who yeah, knows? So, who knows? You know this that could just be hype building, you know, because the same thing, similar thing happened when like Ben Affleck was near Multiverse of Madness, like sure. when he was spotted near there filming right. and people. Right. So it could just be you know building hype, just like they did with Multiverse of Madness. But it could definitely, I mean, I don't know why, other than the money and, like, nostalgia. But, like, I can't think of a story. Like, story-wise, I can't think of why and, and you would this have Jessica been... Alba come back, why you'd have Young Gruffle come back. Why you, Like, why would you have those so, come back? So, the, I know the big rumor way, way back in the day, and we've probably talked about it before, was Deadpool kills the Fox universe. Because he's done that in the past where it's like Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. Um, but they could be doing that. They could be killing all the like Fox characters, some of the Fox characters in order to further their plot or something. And then maybe the TVA will be get involved because they're do I don't know what the thing. Deadpool 3 is gonna be crazy. Um, but I did see that possible Fantastic Four news um with that. So might as well bring it up. But let's get to the let's get to the 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 chunky part of this. And that is going to be the new Fantastic Four news that is possibly coming out. The casting news. Right. The first one I saw was actually turned out to be fake, which was the Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, yeah. Which she said, No, I'm not going to be, but I know who but is. Well, she said I know who is, yeah. Yeah. And so it came out that it's apparently been offered to Margot Robbie. Right, and, Sue Storm. Or Robbie. Yeah, for the part of Sue Storm. Invisible Woman, for those of you who aren't too familiar. I would yeah, I'm I'm assuming most people know, but right. just in case. Um, which obviously she definitely looks the part right. for it. Um, we know that she has the ability to play villain. So in my opinion, villain is easier because you can kind of go more crazy. Right. I think it's harder to play a hero and not be cheesy. But we've also sure. seen her play the, you know, 
good guy, anti anti hero. We've she has sure. the acting ability to do it. So right. um, and it'd actually be a huge. Uh, I think it'd be a huge W for Marvel to kind of poach her from DC, if that makes sense. Right, and I think um, multiple people have proven you can probably do both. Right. She's definitely somebody that James Gunn would be willing to bring back. This also brings the heat right. off him because people right. are saying that she's the only one you're bringing back. Sure. Now, like if she's in Marvel too, right. they're not going to care. Right. Sure. So take some heat off him. <laughs> Which we've talked about. There's going to be in the past. We've mentioned that there's going to be these little things where Marvel and DC are working together now. They're right. going to try to like help each other be better. Something like that, like taking the heat off James Gunn by using sure. Margot Robbie. I feel like it can fit into that. It gets sure. conspiracy theory e getting to that level, but I think those sorts of business deals are done all the time. Right. Obviously, I, they would cast who they think is part like best for the part. Right. But things like that, not specifically this. Sure. Uh, I think she's gonna be great if if she does take it. If it ends up being true, I think she's gonna be fantastic. Um, if they do <laughs> end up having like Jessica Alba and her on the same. Like in the same scene, for some reason I don't know why it would it would be interesting. Right. I would like to see it because I like being able to see that direct comparison on screen of right. Would they do the old comic like old costume for them? Sure. New costume for them? Would they like it would be what would they try to do? Yeah, it'd the be one. Oh, sorry. Go no, it's gonna be it'd be very interesting to see, um, because I want them to be different, like how they act. So like yeah, um, same. for instance, even like. Like, there's some parts of the characters where they have to be, like, similar. So, like, you've got Michael B. Jordan's Human Torch and Chris Evans' Human Torch. Both of them are kind of fairly, like, cocky, confident. Yeah. That's just... that's just Which is very who, straight from the comic. Yeah, who Johnny Storm is. But, like... You don't have a still... name Johnny Storm and not be cocky. <laughs> right, right. And so, like... But they obviously portrayed the role differently. So, right. that's kind of how I want to see... I think Mark is slightly more serious, which right. I think took away. Right. But it had to fit the tone of the movie, so he had to be more serious. Right. Um, just like I think Jessica Alba might have been because of the year it came out, might have just been because of what the director wanted. But I thought that she always came off still as a damsel in distress, even though in theory she's like the most powerful one of the four. Right. True. So she always came off like they always made her seem like she still needed to be rescued even right. in times where she was using her abilities like when the scene where like her nose is bleeding right like, nobody like she's holding back supernova heat like <laughs> just like yeah. and then there's they still and yet they still somehow make it seem like she needs to be helped because like she needs to be grabbed right. and saved after that it's just I hope that that is something they change with Margot Robbie because she is very much uh she definitely is women empowerment is very important to her absolutely and I As think, you, from birds of prey the emancipation of harley quinn or yeah and right? just some so, any of her like i can't remember what her directorial debut was or like producer debut she made something recently that came out um but anyway um we, we know that she's not going to let that happen this time we're like right. we're they're gonna put her forward which yes is not straight like as accurate from the older comics but I can guarantee you more modern comics have a more empowered Sue Storm. Right. Yeah. And I so think Margot Robbie will do that. Yeah. I know, I know a little while ago um, they wanted to get the, they wanted to, or there were reports that they wanted to cast Sue Storm first because they wanted Sue Storm to be kind of the focal point of the group. Um, I think that's really hard to do, especially when you have Reed Richards and we've been waiting for this for so long, but I think I'll you have to try your, I think you have to try your hardest to make Sue Storm and Re Reed Richards like a 1A and a 1B. Like, you have to make them as close to, like, a focal point. And then Johnny yeah. Storm and The Thing can kind of just be, like, support to that. Uh, but they also need to have – those two need to have their moments, too. You know what I mean? Like, you need right. to get the flame on. You need to get the – it's clobbering time. Um, but with Sue Storm and Reed Richards making the important decisions, I guess, that's – um, Which, I think she definitely has the chops to do it, and it'd be like a more serious frontline role. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited because if I that's think the case, that 
that original the the Fantastic Four with uh, Jessica Alba, the one that came out that year. I think that's one that what that one did a good job of was expanding on the story of all of them. They felt like one A, one B, but they also focused on Human Torch and Ben Grimm. Very, like right. we got to see their whole story. Sure. It wasn't necessarily what people wanted to see, right? But um, it still did a good job of expanding on it, which I think that's what made those movies good for me. Right. Um, I think you have to focus on Mr. Fantastic. They are the first right. Marvel family, so they need to yeah. be right. Um, they have to be perfect in every fan survey, even amongst like critics and all that. Doctor Doom is completely underpowered, completely under villain in all of Marvel. Yeah, he's he's the he's the best villain in Marvel, and he's been incredibly underpowered in both iterations of him. Uh, So, um, you got a little bit from Fan Four Stick when he was just he just like came like they tried to like save him in the compound, and then he like wakes up and starts popping people's heads. Like, all right, all right, now we're talking, and then all of a sudden they're just like, wait. We win. We won. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like this guy's just popping heads and you're like, no, running at him. Like, <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make sense. So, um, yeah, he's got to be, um, he's got to be a build up. And that's it's why I don't be... think they're going to do him. Yeah. Now. I don't, I think he's going to wait. I think it's going to wait a lot because I think the next, the next like phase, I think you're going to do Kang in whatever way, shape, or form you do <laughs> Kang. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you will. You kind of you already have it, whether they recast Jonathan I know, it's, it's, or not. Right. But um, that's uh, just John, how I feel John, every time Ken gets brought up right now. Right, <laughs> right. And I mean, you can get John Boyega could fill in. Like John yeah. Boyega looks very similar to Jonathan Majors. Um, but you could have him fill in. Um, but I think the next phase is going to be like mutants because they're slowly introducing them right now. And obviously Deadpool will be like the start of phase six or like the start of phase five, whatever. Um, and so, yeah, I think you're going to get mutants coming up. And then I think after that could be Dr. Doom. That's what I, I think. So it's going to be a ways out, but make him the baddest of the bad. Like yeah. Than- yep. Thanos should be like an ant to him. Mm-hmm. Kang should be like an ant to him. Galactus. That's, yeah. That's why I don't think I think they're going to wait on him because even like a semi big bad, they don't even want to. I don't think they should take anything like Dick Victor Dictor Von Doom. <laughs> You're thinking Arcane now. That's they're all yeah. Anybody named Victor just must. They're all slang in wood there. Right, hundred percent. Right. Anybody yeah. listening, if your name's Victor, congratulations. I'm mad at you and jealous, but he should be the main focus. There should be not even a secondary villain, just all everything's no. on doom and he keeps winning. Yeah. Cause that's what makes comics good is the villain wins sometimes. But when Thanos won, everybody loved it, but we've only gotten to see the villain truly win like once. All right. I want to so. see the villain win without being like, you had to make something up in order to beat them afterward. Sure. But with Terax, being potentially going it sounds like he's going being the be herald in this movie the, the first herald of galactus you see so which means they're probably going to be moving forward with galactus so galactus is going to be the fantastic force like semi bad while kang is still the overarching marvel big bad right so that's i yeah i don't i don't want see galactus, like galactus is like a big bad too so like he you should get be a big terra you can get Terax, that's fine. You could do a Nihilus, which a Nihilus has been a big bad before, but like you could tone a Nihilus down in order to boost Galactus coming in later. So Mole Man. I don't know why you won't do Mole Man. Like, like I don't know. You can make him cool. Um, but um those are three villains like Terax, Silver Surfer, Mole Man, Let's Silver Surfer. What they do with Silver Surfer. Right. Because yeah. you can go in any direction with Silver Surfer, depending on which comics you want to reference, or right. just go with an original story. Sure. So, all right. So, anyway, Margot Robbie. We talked about Margot Robbie. There's other casting news choices. Yeah. That could be do. Um, that could be done. Um, let's go. Paul Mescal. Yep. Mescal. Um, as Human Torch. Uh, he looks the part. First off, like I mean, there's there's a million. There's ten times as many human torches in the world than there is sue storms yeah yep. so There's, you can say it there's a lot of pretty boys in hollywood yeah they just of... had to pick a pretty boy 
that that is that can be a little cocky um yep. that's pretty muscular. ripped yeah, yeah. And, and so yeah um that's no no like shot to paul mesco like I, no. if, he, if he is the if he is the part then like hell yeah like let's go let's flame on you know mm -hmm. um so i'm i'm very excited for it um but i also want to see like the relationship between sue storm and johnny storm like i want there to be some back and forth and like they should hate each other at times they're brother and sister but then at the end of the day like they should come together you know what i mean so sure. um come together uh yeah so and then the last one and this is pretty big because a lot of he's a it, Adam Driver is a very like conflicting like, public. Yeah, that's he's a very good word. polarizing. Um, so like, yeah, a lot of people either love like either love Adam Driver or don't like Adam Driver. Right. Um, so it's very he's a very polarizing figure to a lot of people. But yeah. um, I'm on the four side yeah I'm for adam driver like he's very yeah. talented and i think um the fact that you look at like one of his other big big roles like kylo ren um <clears throat> i think as a character kylo ren is completely badass and i think adam driver filled that could could absolutely destroy could have absolutely destroyed that role with better writing yeah um and so um like I, like Kylo Ren could have been like Vader level or not nothing will be Vader level because Vader's like one of the best villains in Kylo Ren's like, up there. Kylo Ren's sick. So but he could have been like if it's Vader here, then Kylo Ren would be right here. But they made him an anti hero and like they're just like made it I don't know. It's just better writing. On, on Star Wars improved. Day, we're we're fil we're filming on Star Wars Day, so there's a little Star Wars chatter here, but <laughs> Um, yeah, I think Kylo Ren could have been like upper echelon Star Wars villain, Star Wars characters, um, but it's just kind of ruined. So I'm hoping with Mr. Fantastic that it is reversed. Like, I think he can yeah. do it, but I hope the writing is better and I hope he um, well, lives up to his own expectations. Like, he does have some other roles. Like, we've seen him perform well in comedy, drama, action. Right. And one thing I like about Adam Driver, same thing with sports, same thing with art, same thing with like, small creators that people follow when you can see growth in the stuff that they do it makes you want to support them more and it makes you like it shows that they're willing to put the work in and so like easy to root for and they're getting better and i feel like yes the writing wasn't great in the star wars episode seven eight nine solo seven was our um, seven was all right but there's a lot yeah. of very questionable decisions and then eight nine it's like what are you doing and solo it's like what the fuck are you doing? anyway <laughs> that guy um, played what uh what i imagine a han solo would play though he's very cocky and like right. hit, yeah but yeah um adam driver has he wasn't as good then as he was in episode move in like eight nine or whatever right he wasn't as good then as he was even on like saturday night live Right. Everything he's done, I feel like he's shown some sort of improvement. Sure. And so I feel like now that he's jumping into this lead superhero potential, potentially jumping into this lead superhero role, he's play another person who's used to playing a villain or anti-hero and has played an action and drama. I think it's just going to fit so well. If it ends up being Adam Driver and Margot Robbie and Paul Beska or Paul Mescal. Paul yeah. Mescal. I want to say and Paul Seth Pascal Rogue. I've also Pedro seen. Pascal. Yeah, I've also seen like Seth Rogen as the thing. So yeah, that um, one I wouldn't be as excited right. for. I just don't think he he stands out. Similar to a lot of some uh, movies Seth Rogen's in. Part right. of his issue is that he, because of what he's kind of typecast as, he stands out whenever he's in a movie. Like even sure. Super Mario, his voice. Yeah, stood you know, out. Uh, they yeah, added yeah. his laugh when he talks. Even in it's Invincible, weird. Invincible, there's the alien from another planet he's he's voicing it and like it's just kind of like that's that's seth rogan you know right. that alien self seth rogan so, so it's not, what you mean. nothing against like his abilities as an actor right. it's, that typecast is just so sure. stuck in there right so outside of that i do think i think adam driver margot roby paul mescal all are great decisions i knew eventually when they announced it i'd probably agree with whatever they chose because they make good decisions right yeah their casting choices are very very well done yeah um, and they said kevin feige just said they're going to be taking this round more seriously because 
just like we said, they felt like it was kind of a mail it in experiment last phase. Phase four with phase four. They're just like, we're going to do boom, 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 boom. We're going to like, yeah, throw everything at you. Yeah, we're going to try a bunch of new things and see if it works. And none of it really works. So we're yeah. going to go back to what we know works, which is make good movies. Yeah. So they're yeah. taking, that's why I think, you know, you get the Char- it's all been character development. Good. To like character development, they kind of lacked in yeah. Phase Four, but then they they took characters, well known characters like uh, Wanda Maximoff, Loki, um, and they made those their best series, and that's because it's like they they let characters you've already known and like they've established, and you added more to their more depth to their characters. So instead of just like pumping out, we're gonna do stories, like yeah, so. What about and, hey? What about this? Uh, sorry, wherever your your point. I was just gonna say, and trying out horror, trying out yeah. like black and white, trying out uh, fourth wall, you know, literal where, where fourth was... wall breaking. Yeah, yeah. Which all a lot of those hit hit with us. Like Werewolf by Night was badass. They, they um, all hit with none of them were big yeah. misses. Besides a like maybe two or three. Sure. Um. So a lot of people are like, uh, with the Adam Driver news, they're like. Why wouldn't they cast him as Doom? Um, what are your thoughts on that? You think Adam Driver would be a better Doom than he would be Reed Richards, or do you think no. he could do equally equally well as both? I think the second people see him on screen as Mister Fantastic, they will understand why he was not Doom. Right. I think he's gonna. It's going to be that like because he's probably. I hope he's not clean shaven. Yeah, I could, yeah. I know. I know what you mean because like, Mister Fantastic now has got the beard, but he should, so. We'll see. I just, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I think it would be nice if he had scruff. If he is clean shaven, we know he looks good that way. He is primarily like clean shaven. Like anytime most you see of his him. roles, sure. Mil- I believe he has a mil- he was in the military, right? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure Adam Driver was in the military, so that would explain why he's always clean shaven. Sure. Um, and I don't know. I just I can see him with his like he just look when I close my eyes. If I imagine him in the Fantastic Four, if I in like powder blue in like the navy blue whatever version of it i feel like he just pulls it off but when i sure. picture him as doom even though i've seen him as an intimidating villain he does not seem intimidating enough to play doom right sure which like which feels weird which is, it I think- sucks because like that the writing like if they would have put kylo ren to his potential you'd be like oh hell yeah i like play doom but i just think doom is somebody doom should be Silly and Murphy, I, I, just saying. So like, <laughs> I was, I was, what I was, what I was thinking earlier was one reason I would be very happy that if they did like a crossover was we would get Julian McMahon potentially in as Doom, sure, and maybe have an excuse to have him come back and be Doom, sure. I love him. I just think he's so good in everything he does. Right. I just, he's exactly what I wanted to. Like he was buff, but not jacked sure he was like he could be clean shaven he could have a little scruff either way it pulled it off either way it looked intimidating he had the right like just it was when i picture doom or when i think of doom i imagine the opposite of iron man the opposite of batman like this is a guy who has that status has that power has that era about him that everybody seems to be attracted to him and love him besides the one person he really wants sue <clears throat> and have that attitude but also be that instead of having just a suit he genuinely he's got had, magical like, pop properties too he, right, right he's like the exact villainous opposite to a couple of the biggest sure. superheroes right. and i think julian mcmahon per- perfectly portrayed that billionaire playboy bad guy right and sure when I think Adam Driver, billionaire playboy bad guy. Yeah. If you if you break it down into that, his non-doomness, like what makes him his victor, sure. he doesn't look like a vic like he doesn't look like Victor Von Doom. So so if they were to do a, do the Fantastic Four movie, which they are, um, you don't want a um origin story. We don't we don't need an origin story. We know how they get their powers, whether you want to say it's from the quantum realm, that's fine. If you want to say it's out in space, that's fine. I don't care. Just m- I, mention it and I that's do have, it. I do have a confession. Um, I okay. have kind of changed my opinion on that. 
where I wouldn't you, be mad you, if there was an origin story. I think okay. they should not do it. I think it would be a bad idea, probably a, not a good good use of money. But because these are a new new characters in this phase in this universe, I want to see their origin. Okay, so story. so so do you do you want it to be? Um, it would be like that new Harry Potter series coming out that they're going to be making on HBO Max or whatever. Sure. That would to me, it's it would be like releasing the new Harry Potter series, but skipping everything in book one. Okay. So you, so would you want it to be, here's how I see it. If it's, if it's a space origin story, do you want to see that in a different movie? Or do you want to see it at the start of the fantastic form? Movie? Like, do you want, if it's a space origin and then show it in another movie, I'm cool with that. So if it's like space oriented, you do it and say, not the Marvels because the Marvels Secret Wars, not Guardians. Something that's like big enough yeah, for it. Okay, sure, but I think that's after that's after Fantastic Four. Yeah, so that's goes, what I'm saying. Then, like you could release it later. Hint at it sure. in Fantastic Four and release it later. Or if it's like quantum based, we obviously can't see that because we already saw Ant Man. So like, I don't know. I don't know where they would fit it in. If it's but, like, quantum do you based, take... that could be the explanation of how Kang got out. They could use quantum based to make their connection to Kang. Sure. And then do you want that to take up a quarter of the Fantastic Four movie? No, like, you that's know my mean? problem so, is I don't want it to take up a quarter of the movie, but I really want their backstory. Yeah. And yeah, because like, where where was S.H.I.E.L.D. at that time? Where was like S.H.I.E.L.D.? If they are from like, I like Peyton Reed did a, um, did, like had an idea for a Fantastic Four film where they were from, Peyton Reed, is, he directs the Ant-Man movies. So Peyton Reed had Riley's an idea for brother. A, maybe. Maybe. M- Mila Kunis went out to lunch with Peyton Reed, and Peyton Reed, I think, is doing Fantastic Four, so that's why the Mila Kunis news Probably. came out. Probably. But the, um, people in Hollywood know each other. Yeah. And so um, Peyton Reed's idea was to have the Fantastic Four be really, like, relevant in the 60s, but then they get sucked into the quantum realm, and they've been in the quantum realm for 40 years. So kind of like a 40, 50, 60 years or whatever break of how the Fantastic Four have been in for the fans right now. Right. Like, oh, yeah. they were really popular back in the day and now they just disappeared until now they're coming out. Until now they're coming out. Yeah. And so like you could explain their powers from the Fantastic Four. You could or from the Quantum Realm. You could have a reason why they haven't been here. Um, But then you could also say that like in Earth 838, <laughs> that never happened to them. They never got sucked into the quantum realm. They could have gotten their stuff from space and they came back like in the movie. So that seems pretty huge. That seems pretty huge to just like not have mentioned in any previous movie. Right? Like no, like no one's ever said, where's the fantastic four and somebody that the fantastic four, who's that important, who we would assume have probably saved the world in the past. Right, in the 60s, 70s, before Iron Man's even born. We Captain America would have been alive. Like, when they like, disappeared, people just stopped trying to find them. Yeah, so in some way, shape, or form, it has to... I like the incursion idea. I like the yeah, incursion. We've mentioned the, that in the, the past. The incursion's been happening. It could be whatever planet or whatever universe Deadpool ends in, in Deadpool 3, could be where our Fantastic Four are. And that, or Fantastic Four and the mutants are, and then it just meshes into our world. That I think is that's probably the best explanation. I think Um, that's definitely the smoothest transition if you care about not getting a messy story. Sure, I think that's definitely like the the not necessarily the easiest way, but the smoothest way. I just it just seems like that's probably the best choice. Anything like because it it truly doesn't make sense for them to have been around in the past. Right. That does not make sense. You're telling yeah. me Iron Man. You're telling me Hank Pym hasn't been trying to find yeah, exactly, Fantastic yeah, where, Four. Too. Yeah, exactly. What's Hank Pym been doing this whole time? So right. there's yeah, just, there's just no way. There's and yeah. there's no way that villains that have known about the quantum realm would. There's no way that those communities wouldn't have known about those the Fantastic Four. Right. Right. Just so have, not a chance. There's no way yeah. Kang is probably around unless he's killed them. 
Yeah. So it's, which also makes no sense. So yeah. like, yeah, I think the incursion is the best idea. Um, I think that's what they're going with. So I think it's a uh, dark world or whatever multiverse of madness or Doctor Strange three. Where, yeah, they're just going to open up portals with America Chavez, and she's going to connect all the universes we want. She's just going to choose and handpick. Yeah, like a claw and then Clea, yeah, Clea's just going to cut open to the dark dimension and then yeah. just, like, leave it open. Yeah. Everything's going to come out. and Yeah, there's going to – yeah, that's how – every there's like, all right, cut this one. All right, come on. They're going to get the Fantastic <laughs> Four that we want. Ghost R- Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah some coming. of the ones if you want two, it's like all right, here's Nick Cage and here's Robbie Ray. Like right. we're good. <laughs> we got. Yeah. Oh look, here comes Daryl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the horse. Let's go. Like, yeah. And then, oh, uh, what you know? Sam Elliott's back too. Crazy. Oh, here's here's across the Spider Verse. <laughs> all of the spiders. <laughs> They're all animated in a real world. Yeah, that'd be fine. I could see it. Multiverse of Madness just bankrupts all of Hollywood. Or not multiverse. It's it's true cinema, though. That is cinema. Which, that is the fun part about Adam Driver. The most fun part about Adam Driver being Mr. Fantastic is Martin Scorsese said that Adam Driver is the greatest actor of his generation. He also said he is openly against Marvel movies because they are not cinema. Cinema. Yeah, so now what is he going to say? He's going to have to get asked that question. (laughs) curious to see his response to that he's gonna have a very smart ass response because you can separate the actor from the work just because he's in a marvel movie doesn't make him a like a sellout bad actor they just got uh the greatest actor of the generation exactly in a movie that's not cinema sure so he's gonna stand out he's gonna feel wrong like he's gonna feel like he just sticks out from all everybody else yeah which the downside is if for people when this happens, it's a little side story because we've kind of covered the topics we want to cover <laughs> anyway. Like when you cast a fantastic actor and they are not surrounded by people that are at least above good, slightly above good, it makes them feel you the slightly above good people either look terrible. Or the really good actors feels cheesy, like feels like they're in a play or something because they're actually expressing right. their emotions and the people around them aren't doing their part. Right. Example, Rumpelstiltskin and Once Upon a Time, the TV series, almost right. feels cheesy and over the top sometimes, but that's because he's the best actor in the whole show. Sure. Right. Right. But sometimes he feels out of place. This obviously, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but if that's truly how much better of an actor he is than all these other people, that could also be how it feels. Sure, right. Yeah, I just I think with I think with Adam Driver and Margot Robbie and Paul Mescal and whoever you cast this thing, I think that is the a a very very good foundation for your Fantastic Four. I think they're doing a perfect job making the thing be the last announcement as well. Yeah. Yeah, because if that's it's, the last cast you want. Yeah. So now, now if they if they go snipe, uh, because you don't know if Peacemaker is gonna be back, they go snipe John Cena, uh, John Cena, uh, to uh to play the thing. I think that's I don't know. I just nail John on the Cena head. playing the thing would be sweet. I think this won't happen. We've we've made up our own scenarios in the past that didn't happen. This is another one of those that won't happen. They're going to have an announcement for the Fantastic Four when they're at the casting. They're going to have the three people that come out. Right. Lights are going to go down, big curtain. And then uh, you're just going to hear over a loudspeaker, it's clobber in time, right. in whatever. It's clobber! However right. serious, however they want to do it. Right. And that's how they're going to announce it, right? And sure. They open the curtain, and that's the thing. Right. And, that's, and then they're going to open it, and nobody will be standing there. <laughs> that's how yeah. they that's how they'll announce who <laughs> that's how they'll announce let's go is the thing right. and then they're gonna be like oh crap and then the lights will dim again and then you'll just see this on the screen and then here comes john Cena. you see the thing doing this <laughs> <laughs> yeah man yeah no that'd be, that'd be gets to put his laugh as donkey kong john cena can do his hand thing as yeah. the thing <laughs> yeah no i, I mean I think that'd be insane if they got if that's the cast that's your Fantastic Four. Yeah, that's insane. Cause like, 
Also, like Ben Grimm was a football player. So, like, does John Cena more look more like a football player, or does Seth Rogen look more like a football player? John so, Cena. like, come on, yeah. come on. So, that's what I got. Who that's would you I- want as the thing? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, who do you, who would you want as the thing? If you want, let us know in the replies. Let us know in uh, on Twitter. We have we have tweets that we do. Um, we'll put oh, those we somewhere. We do the th- we do the tweets, and uh, so feel free to tweet at our tweets and feel free to reply. Please share as um, we want to make this our livelihood for the love of God, and <laughs> um, like, comment, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. All right, you all look great today. G- don't wanna sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate And finally make a move I think of you and All the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hell of shit That I don't become you Have no regrets Yeah I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget What it's like to be in dead Been stabbed in the back bed I'll show you